Yo, listen, if I sound funny, don't laugh. Um, I've been crazy sick all week. Uh, fever, congestion, runny nose, sneezing, crazy headaches, all that shit. Tested negative for COVID, which is cool, but I still feel awful. Um, even right now, I'm nowhere near 100%, but it's okay. We're gonna flu game this shit like two, three, so let's get it. <laughs> What is good, YouTube? Tristan here, back with another video. So check this out. I went to moment.com and picked up two of their Cinebloom filters, the 10% and the 20%, because straight up, I didn't know which one would work best for me. And to be honest, if you're asking me which filters should you get, I can't exactly answer that for you because it all really depends on the style of shooting you're into. This video is, however, going to show you the differences between these two filters. So right now, it's about eight o'clock. I did want to wait until the sun went down to shoot this video because the differences will be very apparent at night. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in the car, find a cool spot, I'm gonna shoot some samples and show you guys, again, the differences between these two filters, the 10% and the 20%. Let's go. Yo, so check this out. Um, like two or three weeks ago, I got side swiped in my truck, right? So it's in the shop. I got this blueberry, I got saddled with the blueberry. Shout out to Enterprise, thanks I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Going out to find the spot and I think that the perfect spot would be the movie theater. It's like a movie theater, and then there's like a food plaza, and then there's like a Walmart or something. So maybe we can get some shots at the movie theater and then uh, get some shots at the back of the empty parking lot. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be shooting both uh, photo and video with the Canon R6. Um, for video, I have the 16 to 35 millimeter lens on here. Um, but for photo, I'm gonna be using my Rokinon or Rokinon uh, 24 mil 1.4 lens, uh, only because uh, I love depth in my shots. And it's gonna be interesting to see what the filters look like on this lens in particular. Um, I'm also gonna be setting the camera up on uh, my tripod just so there's consistency throughout all the shots. I'm um, gonna do several mo moving shots too with the uh, Ronin RS2, but yeah, um, enough talking. Again, 20% Cine Bloom, 10% Cine Bloom. I'm gonna show you guys the differences. Don't you wanna put your beanie on so you don't get sick? That's actually a really good idea. Is it in the car? Yeah. I would rather not feel worse than I already do right now, <laughs> to be completely <laughs> honest. Okay, does it match? No, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, there's going to be three different shots. The, uh, the first shot is going to be with no filter. The second shot is going to be with this 10% filter. Third shot will be with this 20% filter. This is going to go for all the videos and photos that we shoot. Um, we're going to start with video of this Regal Cinema sign up there. Um, we're going to have a low shot panning up to the sign. Um, and again, we're going to go ahead and do uh, three shots. Uh, let's go ahead and go over it go over there right now but yeah um again doing this at night because you guys will definitely see uh the difference uh between the 10 and 20 percent um and again which filter you get uh it just depends on the style of shooting i'm just here to show you guys the differences and then you can make your assessment um based off this video so uh set up here in kind of in the middle of the street steph let me know if there's a car coming because if so um, I don't want my camera or myself to get hit. Uh, I'm gonna pan up at the Regal Cinema sign, lock the focus right there, and I'm probably gonna record for about 30 seconds just, in, just to have um, some wiggle room in case something happens, like someone walks in the middle of my shot or something. But yeah, uh, again, no filter, 10%, 20% goes for photo and video. Um, and enough talking, let's go ahead and just shoot the shit, right? Roll the clip. All right, I think I got uh, all the shots that I needed um, video wise. Uh, the gimbal shots were a lot of fun to film, uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and, and take the camera off of the gimbal. I'm gonna throw my 24 1.4 lens on to the camera and we're gonna take some photos. But before we get to that, um, let me know down in the comments what you think of the shot so far in terms of uh, which filter you would choose, the 20, the 10, the no filter. Uh, just let me know again in the comments. I don't use this 
as much as I probably should. I need to use it a lot more, pay good money for it. But despite not using it that much, I gotta say that it's one of my favorite lens out of the, out of the five that I have. So that's all now. I'm gonna put this in the car, lock it up, and I'm gonna take some photos. Didn't think we would uh, be able to get a shot in the movie theater. It's like 11 o'clock and they're pretty much closed, but a door was cracked open. So we just snuck through the door and got in. So uh, we're, we're done over here. Let's get outside real quick. <laughs> okay, we're done shooting here at the movie theater. So now um, I'm gonna go back to the house, look at these shots and I'll give you guys like my assessment on what I think of these filters. And again, you guys can decide which filter works best for you. All right, you saw the samples, you saw the photo, you saw the video, and you can clearly see the difference in strengths between the 10% diffusion filter and the 20% diffusion filter. And one clear indicator of that is the halation coming from the lights. The higher the strength of the diffusion filter, the bigger that halation is going to be. Here it is again, the 10% um, diffusion filter. You see the halation coming from the light compared to the 20%. You can see the 20% makes that halation a lot bigger. Now I can't stress this enough. I know I've said it over and over again, but the strength of the filter that you're going to end up with will depend on your personal preference and the situations that you're putting yourself in when you're filming or taking photos. Now, in my opinion, the 10% filter is more than enough for video. Um, once I threw that 20% on, I started to notice that I was losing a lot of detail that I wanted to keep in the shot and the camera was also having a hard time focusing in on the subject. The 20% definitely seemed a little overkill for video while the 10% helped maintain those cinematic qualities that in my opinion, fit my personal preference. However, I did like the 20% strength for photos, um, especially matched with the 24 uh, 1.4 lens. And I think that in the right situation, you can create a lot of magic with this combo. So more than likely um, when I'm out shooting photos, if the situation calls for it, I'll definitely be throwing the 20% diffusion um, filter onto my lens. Now I could go into detail about what diffusion filters are and what they do and why you should buy one, but there's already a ton of videos out there about diffusion filters. I'll link a really good one um, up here that you can watch. And two, um, if you're watching this video, you probably already made the decision to purchase one and you're just trying to figure out which one works best for you. And with that said, I hope that this video helped make your decision that much easier. And if it did, please drop a like down there and subscribe to my channel. My name is Tristan Irvin. I make videos weekly. Um, I talk about camera gear, uh, I do tutorials and the occasional vlog. Also hit the bell notification so when I do upload, you get notified. And until that next video, y'all, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get some rest, um, sip some echinacea tea, um, probably take a shower with these um, Vicks Vapor Rub tablets. I've never heard of it before, but I'm gonna try it. You know, clear the congestion. Um, I'm rambling, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace. All right, let's try this. Here is the 10%. Um, I do like how it kind of eases up on the, the shadows a little bit. The shadows aren't as harsh. Um, there's not much relation around that lamp in the back. And then here is the 20%. And this is where I think you start to lose a lot of, a lot of detail. The shadows are a lot less harsher. And there's a slight, slight halation around the light. It's pretty cool though. I like, I like these a lot. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>